All right, welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining us in today's class, and welcome to the latest installment of DTF Film 101. I hope you all brought your handy notebooks, because today we're getting hands-on with DTF Hand Feel. I'm gonna be your professor, Esteban, with All American Print Supply. Now, as far as direct -to film printing goes, you could have the nicest design printed ever, but if it feels terrible, who's really gonna wanna wear it? DTF utilizes very soft, water-based textile printing ink, so your design should feel like such. In today's episode, we're breaking down that level of criteria to determine how to get the best final product. You ready? During the course of this DTF 101 series focusing on the film, we tested five different transfers. We included options that we sell, as well as selected imported choices. We want to see how these different materials stack up against each other. Now before we take a look at the actual transfers and show you our ranking, I kind of want to go over some of the criteria that we use to examine these different films. As far as a company, here's what we look at when we're looking to offer the different transfers to our customers. Up first is gonna be softness. How much hand feel does the transfer have on the material? I kinda like to use the speed bump analogy. Can you tell where the transfer begins on the garment? Does it feel like it's a part of the material? Up next was oiliness. Here we're referring to any sort of residue from the release layer that may have been left on the transfer. How is the finish? Does it look consistent? Does it appear to be any kind of visual sweat or leftover oily residue? And next we looked at texture. How is the feel of the actual transfer? How heavy is it? Is it more of a plasticky feel? Does the transfer once applied feel more like a premium good or something more was ironed on? Let's take a look at it. Now, let's take a look at our contestants here. Now this hot peel, which did not transfer quite well, it does have a little bit of an oily kind of almost grease sort of finish on here. Up here, we have contestant B. Now this one has more of a visual texture. It looks like there's oil or some sort of moisture kind of permeating on the outside, almost condensation. Now hopefully that second press will clear that up, but hand feel is medium weight, not too bad. This is gonna be our Kodak film. So I see no oil texture. This has almost already a sort of matte finish, but it does have a, I don't wanna say rubber, maybe also a silicone. I can feel this is a transfer. It is very smooth, so we'll see how the second press finishes this one up here. Now we have our STS film. Little smoother, little softer. I do still feel a little bit of, I don't wanna say rubber or silicone, but almost a slight resistance as I move my hands across to feel the transfer, but very lightweight. We'll see how the second press turns out. And then the Ecofreen. Now let's see here. Now this one has a little bit of a smoother texture than the others. It's a very lightweight transfer. I'm not feeling a whole lot of a difference between the garment and here. There is some subtle resistance, but again, much softer than what I'm feeling on the others. Now most films can leave somewhat of an oily finish or appearance on the final product. And if this is still there after the first press, you can leave it if you don't mind. But if you want that gone, we are gonna be looking at performing what we call the second press. Now this is gonna serve a few purposes here. One, if you do have any kind of gloss, sheen, or shine, this will give us more of a matte or retail appearance. Next, if we do have any excess powder that transferred with our image, this will give us a chance to kind of burn that into the material. And three, this is also gonna help improve our washability and our cycles in the dryer by helping to better seal the transfer into the fabric. Let's take a look at all these after our second press. Oh, okay, let's see what we got here. This is contestant A. Now, when we did this, Amelia noticed there was some resistance. A lot of that ink did not actually transfer successfully. And this does have a bit of a rougher texture as I touch the image and graphic here. This one did not properly transfer as we can see on here. And that hot peel again, always comes down to the coating. A little rough on this one. This guy's in last right now. Let's take a look at option B. And this was a hot peel. Okay, immediately I do notice a little more texture. It is a bit more detectable to the touch. And it does feel slightly heavier once applied to the fabric. This is our Kodak direct to film Very smooth. Now on this one, I do feel I notice a little bit of the texture of the garment itself kind of showing through the image, which is always a good sign of proper adhesion. I would say this is about a medium weight, a little smooth here. 
yeah, this is a solid. Not too heavy, not too light. Okay, up next is STS. Right, let's see. Okay, this does have a little bit of a texture here. This is a little bit lighter as I touch the edges and the details. This is a little bit of a lighter transfer. This is very soft on the material. Not bad. All right, and this is the Ecofreen. Let's take a look here. Very soft. Immediately, I'm feeling almost it's a part of the garment. As I transition from fabric to transfer, it is very seamless. There's no speed bump. This one, I feel, has the softest actual hand feel. It feels like it's almost a part of the sweater. Now, some images can give you more of that plasticky feel. And if that's the case, we may need to press just a little bit longer if we want to take care of that. Now, the measure that we're judging on hand feel is how much we can physically feel the transfer on the garment. All right, class, let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, hand feel can be somewhat of a subjective kind of unit of measurement. Again, these are the criteria that we offer and we look for to try to make this as objective as possible. And one of the reasons we really liked ranking the Ecofreen film as high as it was, well, let's go through it. Softness. As we mentioned, that transfer almost felt like it was literally a part of the garment. And that's a big deal when you're printing or transferring these graphic images. Next, oiliness. Now, even though this was a hot peel film, it performed so well and had such even coating on that layer, there was no visible sweat, had a very consistent coloring and tone, and texture. This had no plastic, no heavy feel. It couldn't tell if it was digitally printed, directly imposed, had a great soft premium hand feel. You know, at the end of the day, we hold no bias, and we do advise testing and testing to find what's gonna be ideal for your workspace and your preference. Our goal as a company is to offer you the very best materials, no matter what workspace you're operating in. All right, class, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's session. I wanna thank all of you for coming to DTF Film 101. Make sure you guys are all subscribed so you can keep up with all the different episodes as we explore the different criteria that we look for in providing the quality films for you, our customers. Definitely things you should be mindful of when you're building your business with direct to film my name is Esteban, we're All-American Prince Supply. Thank you guys all so much, and don't forget, film matters.